Okay, so we're doing applications of vectors here, and here's the first yacht problem that I have. So yacht A, yacht A moves along according to these parametric equations. The distance units are in kilometers and the time are in hours. And B moves along these, where T is hours. And so it wants to know the initial position of each yacht. Well, if I'm going to talk about yacht, yacht A, I'll make the vector equation for A, and I know it's going to be 4, 5, plus t, 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. And then for yacht B, similarly so it's going to be 1, negative 8, plus t, 2, and 1. And so the initial position of each yacht A is going to be at 4, 5, and yacht B is going to be at 1, comma, negative 8. And the velocity of each yacht, well, in this linear equation, this is the velocity, it's the direction, and the, and the magnitude is velocity. So the velocity of A is simply 1, negative 2, and the velocity of B is simply 2 and 1. Okay? That feels weird that you give it as a vector, but velocity is a vector point. If it would have said the speed, then we would have given the magnitude of each vector. Okay, so now it says find the time when the yachts are closest to each other. Well, what we need to do is consider what these yachts are doing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph these equations. And one of the things that I can do, if I change my mode, I'm going to change it to parametric mode. I'm going to go to parametric equation, I'm going to hit enter, and now when I go to y equals, you can see I've already put in yacht b. For yacht a, I'm going to go 4 plus, now when I hit this button, it's now t. In parametric mode, it's t. In function mode, it's x. I put my x value in, I put my y value in, it needs both x and y, and then it's going to have it all set. And so I'm going to look at my window, and I my t minimum is 0, my maximum is 6, I'm going to go by 0 0.001, and I've done this on purpose so that we can watch the boats go. Actually, I'll change it back. We'll make it like 0.5 at first, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so then I'm going to graph it, and let's see what happens. Oh, let me zoom to standard. And we can see that here are here's the one path, here's the other path of what the yachts are doing. Okay, so we want to find when the time the yachts are closest to each other. Well, it looks like they cross over, but the thing that the diagram doesn't show is the time. And here's when the step is going to come into play. I'm going to go point zero zero one. And so now when I graph it. Uh, let's go from 0 to 10. Hopefully this will work. Let's see. So here come the boats going along, going along, going along. And they're going at the same time. And if you, if I pause it, you can see that this boat here already, which is boat B, is past their pointed intersection. Okay, and so if I keep going, you know, eventually their paths will cross but the boats are not hitting each other. So we want to find a time when they are actually closest to each other. So I'm going to steal the graph, bring it over here, and so what we're trying to do is I know that on this particular scenario, here is yacht A, and this is, let's say, we'll call it point A, and it is moving, right? It is represented by the entire vector of the equation. This one here, b, is also the entire equation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the magnitude of vector a, b. That's the distance between the boats, and I want this magnitude to be as small as possible. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find vector a, b. Okay, and so I'm going to take the b vector, 
And maybe it's actually easier to look at it in parametric form. And I'm going to take my x values and then go the b, 1 plus 2t, subtract the a, which is negative 4 minus t. b is going to be, or the y value is going to take negative 8 plus t, subtract 5 plus 2t. And so simplifying that, I end up with the vector negative 3 minus t and a negative 13 plus 3t. And so that is vector ab here. And so I want the distance, so the magnitude of this vector, to be small. So we want to find when the distance abd, which is the magnitude of the vector, is small. So the magnitude of this vector is my x component squared plus my y component squared. And I want this to be a minimum. What is t or to be a minimum? Well, I'm going to go over to my calculator. I'm going to get out of the parametric mode. Oh, let me, let me get out of parametric. So mode, back to function, and now I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to put this in the square root of negative 3, subtract x. I'm going to make it an x again, and when I click that, it's an x now because I'm in function mode, and then negative 13 plus 3x to the power of 2. And I'm going to use my default window, and I'm looking for the minimum value. So I'm going to trace that. I want 3. I'll make that 0 to 6 and guess a 3. And I can see here from the graph that d is equal to 6.957, but more importantly, the time is equal to 3.6. And so 3.6 hours from their initial start is when they are at a minimum closest to each other, find the time. Okay, so we find the general vector AB between the two boats at any given time. We find the distance between it, or the magnitude of the vector, the magnitude of AB. And then we find the minimum, and we can graph that. All right, and so finally, the last one is prove that the paths of the yachts are right angles to each other. Well, to do that, we know that their direction is 1, negative 2, and 2, negative 1. And if those two vectors, when I dot product them, I end up with equal to 2 minus 2, which is 0. Therefore, they are perpendicular because the dot product is 0. So the a, b, and d are not so bad, but c part is quite challenging, setting up this general vector a, b, representing the distance between the boats, and then find when it is a minimum.